this one I'll answer. Uh, airport scanners. Uh, Scott talked about it, on, and I did answer him privately on the forum, but I think a lot of people think about airport scanners. My research has shown that, you know, the full body scanner, the millimeter, millimeter wave scanner is not very high exposure. This could change in the future. Of course, let's say they change models. Well, that wouldn't be true. So keep that in mind. Uh, that wouldn't be true anymore. So what I found is that they reviewed what the provision, it, I think it's provision three or provision two, which is the model of what you see in most US airports. Uh, it emits around 100 microwatts per square meter. What does that mean? Well, if you take your phone and expose it to your head, it could be in the hundreds of thousands of microwatts per square meter. That's the intensity of the radiation. So as a comparison, the millimeter wave scanner, of course, it's, uh, it's in the millimeter wave, so it's around 80, uh, 28 or 30 gigahertz, if I recall correctly, of exposure in, in the frequency. But the power of it is quite low. And it is a micro pulse for less than, I think it was one second or 1.6 second. So do I worry about, about the millimeter wave exposure in those scanners? Personally, I don't, because I think using your phone after you've just passed the the pat down is is very stupid in the sense that I think your phone just scrolling on social media is exposing you to more danger, but that's for you to determine. Uh, and if you are extremely electrosensitive, that would be a different answer for me because maybe you'll feel unwell regardless. Then you have the other types of scanners that are more like a door frame, and these are very high magnetic fields, uh, a few hundreds of milligauss, if I recall correctly. I looked at the specs, but you know, you're just passing through them, but it's a high field. So what is the worst of the two choices? Uh, we don't have, uh, I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, normally I wouldn't, you know, bother with the pad down, but if you, if you have extra time, why not? But it's all, it's all based on your personal assessment. All I can say is that I saw information on the internet left and right about the scanners being so much more worse than cell phones. And I tried to review the data. All I found is, you know, about a hundred microwatts per square meter, which is extremely small compared to a phone. But I might be wrong because again, if you go to, I don't know, another airport in another country, maybe the technology might be different, but I don't think they need very large pulses in order to do this imagery. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Pino. You know, I am the co-creator of the EMF circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our circle members. Every month, we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars Masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.